Hi, Deborah. Thank you so much for doing this uh, testimonial call with me today. I'm really excited for you to share your story with everybody out there who may be considering neural retraining as a route to healing. And you have a great uh, healing story that um, from doing this work, particularly in the Wired for Wellness program. So um, let's dive into what has changed for you so that um, other people can get a sense of that and get inspired. So okay. <laughs> what um, what kind of problems were you having that led you to try the Wired for Wellness program? I really felt that I was living a life of anxiety and um, and a lot of it was around fear, mm -hmm. not being safe. Mm -hmm. And I knew from watching some of the um, introductory um, sessions that you had for people to decide if they wanted to join, um, that it was exactly what I needed. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So anxiety and fear was the primary thing. And how long had you been struggling with that? I think all my life. I think I've been an introvert for so long and I've tried to avoid situations that were scary or uncomfortable and, um, just tried to keep myself safe, but it just doesn't really work very well when you don't know what your brain is doing and your body is doing. Mm -hmm. And uh, this uh, program gave me so much helpful information to guide me in the right direction. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. So generally the anxiety and fear just impacted most aspects of your life, like it was present mostly all the time in a variety of different contexts of your life. Is that correct? Yes. What I could do though, is put up a wall to protect myself and pretend that I was fine. Mm -hmm. I was, I was pretty good at it, but it just created so much tension in my body that um, I had what people used to call a nervous stomach and mm -hmm. I had it. I was very little and it just got more and more difficult to be in the world and not have problems with my stomach. So I was on medications and seeing doctors and trying to figure out how to calm it down, but that wasn't really the way to do it. It was really coming from my brain yeah. and uh, I didn't, I didn't know for years. So this program has really opened my eyes. That's awesome. Um, so yeah, so for the anxiety and fear, um, you know, which you were aware of, and you were managing it the best you could, but it sounds like you also had tried some other things before you discovered Wired for Wellness, trying to get relief from that. What were those things that you tried? And, you know, what was the difference in how those affected you versus what you've done in Wired for Wellness? I'm not sure what you're, you're asking. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. So um, what kinds of things have you tried to help yourself with the anxiety and fear before? Oh, well, I, I did try and I have I continued to do meditation, but I don't feel that it's the direction that I needed to go. It does give me a time where I am calmer. It doesn't resolve the issue of right. where the anxiety is coming from and, and what I can really do about it. And the same with, I did do DNRS at, at one time and I was very um, diligent about it and went through the whole program and followed it for, I believe the six months that they recommend but I didn't get anywhere. I mean, felt a little better while I was doing it, but it didn't lead me to a calmer, less anxious state. Right, yeah, so the old patterning would just keep repeating itself and you'd have to do the exercises constantly to, to manage it more so than actually changing it. All right. Yeah, okay. Yes, I've heard that experience before. Um, okay, so... Uh, let's talk a little bit about the other things, the bodily things that you had going on that, 
you know, you maybe hoped Wired for Wellness could help you with, but you really didn't know. Um, so what kind of physical issues were you dealing with? Well, because of my um, digestive problems that I uh, developed over time, um, that has had gotten to the point where I was having um, to reduce the foods that I was able to eat because my my uh, my gut couldn't handle them. And I think it was a lot of it was a nervous situation. And um, I tried, you know, as I said, medications and supplements and and different kinds of treatments, and I, I didn't really get very far. I, I'm doing a little better with um, the Wired for Wellness program. Um, and then I have a lot of pain. Not chronic, not what I call a chronic pain, but a pain that um, was just in the background. And my, most of mine was in my back and my jaw. Mm -hmm. My jaw was the biggest issues because I, I really carried my tension there. Um, I was a teacher. <laughs> and um, you just have to always be on task. And I could feel my jaw just really tightening and and uh, ended up with a splint and medication to solve that. And, you know, it's just, it's not the answer. It's just like uh, a Band-Aid approach, you know? Yeah. Um, really the anxiety that, that I really needed to deal with and, and the fears that are behind that. Yeah, right. So you had some some fears related to the pain as well, right? Not just two other things in life. Yeah. Right. Okay, right. so what did you discover through Wired for Wellness? What what changed for you? And, you know, what was that like with the pain? Well, I learned um, somatic tracking. I think Patty teaches that. And um, I found that just fascinating. It's a completely different way of looking at your body so that you see the positive things that are happening, not just the negative. And you want the, the things that are causing pain in a different way. And then your brain actually almost becomes a detective. You calm down as you observe it. You observe what's happening in, say, your back or whatever. And you just watch it. And it, it's amazing how the brain has been holding the pain more than the body. Yes. And I learned from, from this technique that um, I've, I think I've reduced my, my pain, a lot of it around the anxiety and the fear of the pain, probably by 75%. I just nice. feel so much freer from the focus of it and how you focus so much on what hurts. It, it, it can it just run your life. And I don't feel that now. Yeah. You know, I, I'm painless. I'm not pain free. Yeah. But it comes and goes and it's, but it's not that feeling that it's debilitating or controlling my life. Yes. That's awesome. So you're able to focus on the things you actually enjoy and live your life more fully now. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. That's awesome. It, it opens a, a window for me of calm, a, just a, a peaceful feeling that I haven't had in a long time. Yeah. So it's, it's really amazing. Great. And do you find that when the pain does start to creep in, that you have techniques within the program now to help yourself uh, dissipate it or at least not react to it? Oh, definitely. Yes. I've become very good at, at um, noticing it when it starts. That's something Patty talks about. Notice it. <laughs> Focus on what you're sensing. And then you go into your somatic um, tracking. And it doesn't take nearly as, as long as it used to when I was first learning it. Mm -hmm. And then I'm back to what I was doing before. Nice. That's awesome. Sounds very freeing. Yes. Um, and so I think you had tried, you know, for the pain, you know, things like chiropractic and massage and yoga. 
and, you know, orthopedics and anti-inflammatory supplements, all those kind of things that most people have tried, right? And those w weren't the answer for you. Yes and no. I would say that um, definitely doing body work um, has helped me to maintain my flexibility, which of course helps a lot with things that are getting tight or tense. And um, I don't think that there's anything wrong with chiropractic. I think it's helpful at, at times, but it was an answer to um, how I could work with the pain and uh, feel more free from it. Mm -hmm. That's the. Yeah, right. This, this approach with the neural retraining is very empowering, right? It gives you the tools to use on your own at any time of day. So you don't, you're not dependent on seeing someone to get some relief and. Right. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, so then let's talk about what has changed for you in terms of the anxiety and fear. How are you feeling in terms of those things now in your life? Well, I've learned um, the rewiring techniques. And of course, my favorite is the dance process. <laughs> so that is has come up and I know that I need to work on it. I have I have many ways of doing it, but my favorite is the dance technique <laughs> process. And um, but I also can do things very uh, very quickly, like the tapping, um, something. Am I still there? Yep, you're here. Something that I can go um, go to immediately. And um, breathing, there's some uh, good breathing techniques that Patty has taught us. And um, I, I do the um, pattern interrupts that have um, fun ways of rewiring the situation. And then you can just move on and not have not feel like you're stuck in it. Mm -hmm. Right. Spiraling and ruminating and all those things, right? right? Have you, have you found that your anxiety has decreased in frequency and intensity over time? Oh, I definitely think it has. I think that, I think I started this maybe three or four months ago and um, I noticed a difference right away. I felt like it's, it's sort of a sense of control, even though that can have a negative context, you know, kind of, and I'm not meaning that at all. It's, it's like a, a freedom that you know that you know what you can do to help yourself yeah. and you don't get stuck and you, you're, you're open to, um, using it and then just relaxing and not feeling like it's it's not still there in the back of your mind because you have worked through it it's yeah. it's not thing like you're repressing it you're able to look at it and and uh rewire it and be free of it so yeah it from the very beginning that's awesome and I think you've also rewired your reaction to certain triggers such that you, when those triggers present themselves in your life now, they don't trigger this huge um, emotional or anxiety or fear response. Is that true? Yes. Are we talking about the doctor? <laughs> well, that's a really good example. So you have this fantastic example that I think other people would love to hear of how, you know, your subconscious mind i.e. the part of your brain that is not your thoughts, was producing this stress response. And it, so it was only manifesting in your body, but you felt peaceful in your mind. And still you were able to rewire that in your brain so that it stopped happening. So can you tell people th that story? Okay, it's a little embarrassing. <laughs> so I, I've been one of those people where if I get really nervous about something, I um, it's often about going to the doctor, um, I would have um, diarrhea or something close to it right before I went to see them, him or her. And um, 
I learned at, with Wired for Wellness that a lot of this is something that, you know, is coming from the brain and the subconscious, and you don't even really realize that it's part of your what your nervous system is able to do. I had no idea what was going on. And um, yeah, so I worked to rewire that in my mind. <laughs> my body has gotten the message <laughs> that I don't need to be afraid of doing that kind of thing. And um, I've had many appointments since I did that rewiring where I'm just as calm in my brain as I am in my body. <laughs> and it's great. <laughs> that is awesome. What a relief, right? Who wants to deal with that when they got to run out to the doctor? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very good. All right. Well, that is a, a great encapsulation of your story, I think. Is there anything else that you want to say about your experience in doing Wired for Wellness? Well, I think I the, the best thing to say is that um, everybody should give it a try. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it is um, a way to change the way that you're, um, you've been living if you've been living with some of the things I've been living with. And it's it's just made a really big difference in my life. And um, I do it, you know, almost every day. It's um, important to me to, to to wake up in the morning and do things that are positive for my body and my brain before I even... Uh, start my day. And uh, it, it really has, uh, really has helped. Mm -hmm. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing that with everybody. That is a super cool result. And I'm so glad that it's benefited you so much. Thank you. I'm glad to share. <laughs>